Chinese President Xi Jinping and his French counterpart Emmanuel Macron have joined other foreign dignitaries for the opening of the China International Import Expo in Shanghai. The summit comes as part of Macron's state visit to China, in which he's pushing for greater economic ties between Beijing and Europe. Trent Murray reports. It's all about trade, commerce and climate change. But will human rights and the unrest in Hong Kong be covered in talks between the leaders of France and China? On day two of President Emmanuel Macron's state visit to the Asian superpower, the pair were joined by other European heads of government, including Greece and Serbia. They were all there together as guests of President Xi Jinping for the opening of the second China International Import Expo in Shanghai. In his opening address, Xi told delegates that the global community needs to bring down trade barriers, uphold basic multilateral trade principles and stand firm against protectionism and unilateralism. Macron, who is there to drum up new deals for French business, said there was another priority. Our industrial policies, our standards, our diplomacy must be at the heart of the agenda. On the one hand, the fight for biodiversity. On the other, the fight against global warming. And I say it today with strength and confidence because it is not an agenda that can be separated from the commercial and economic. It is what will make the economic agenda sustainable and acceptable to our people. Away from the pomp and pageantry of the expo, agreements are being made. Xi and Macron will sign a pact today that includes the wording of the irreversibility of the Paris Climate Accord. But Macron has been urged not to shy away from human rights issues, such as the mass detention of Muslims in China's northwest and the unrest in Hong Kong. Beijing has warned him to stay away from those topics, but the French leader still has time. Trent Murray, Euronews. Well, for more, we're joined from Paris by our international correspondent, Annelise Borges. Morning to you, Annelise. A bit of a diplomatic tightrope, you could say, for the French president, because he's representing not just France, but Europe as well. Absolutely. Good morning, Rosie. For Emmanuel Macron, he has uh, time and time again spoken about uh, this Europe-China partnership. In fact, last year during his very first visit to China as a head of state, he said he wanted to take that partnership into the 21st century and promised to visit China every year in order to work on it. And in keeping that promise, of course, he landed in Shanghai yesterday and spoke at that international imports fair where he spoke about the importance of that partnership as an, a crucial asset. That's how he described Europe and China relations. He also said it was time to send a message to the world, a message of calmness, of openness to the rest of the world in an era where uh, trade tensions are actually compromising growth everywhere in the world. But Emmanuel Macron's team said that the French president had more than just beautiful words to share with Chinese officials. They also said that he's going to be doing a lot of work behind the scenes to push for that EU-China comprehensive agreement on investment, a deal that has been negotiated for over six years now. It had stalled up until April this year when European but also Chinese officials started to meet again every month and have agreed to try at least and get that deal signed by the end of this year. In the backdrop of these conversations about trade and business, of course, there's been increased scrutiny on Beijing's track record when it comes to human rights. Not only that, but the ongoing sustained protests in Hong Kong. How is Emmanuel Macron expected to navigate around those thorny issues? Is that what he's going to do or is he going to tackle them head on? That's a very good question, Rosie. Emmanuel Macron is known for being an outspoken, uh, outspoken advocate for human rights, but he's also a very pragmatic leader. And the French president has, uh, until now, threaded the issue of human rights very cautiously with regards to China, but also with other nations. For example, Russia. He has repeatedly said that it's very important not to antagonize countries that he 
perhaps doesn't agree with everything. And um, his team insists that he won't be shying away from thorny topics, including, of course, Hong Kong. But the French president could indeed choose to pick his battles. For example, that agreement, that progress that he has achieved already with China uh, back in Japan with regards to the Paris Agreement and the potential to sign a clause in a deal today to make those commitments irreversible. Perhaps that is the fight Emmanuel Macron will pick this time around. And Chinese officials have repeatedly warned the French delegation to stay away from thorny issues, to stay away from internal politics in China saying that it would be, quote, ridiculous for Emmanuel Macron to lecture China on Hong Kong, especially with regards to what happened here in France uh, with the Yellow Vest movement, a movement that is actually going to be completing one year in just two weeks' time.